Yes, we are in 98% right now. The performance is still 2,000 IOPS, 16 milliseconds, and that's starting to move right now. See, this big number on the left, and a couple, yeah, there's no more movement here. So pay attention on the dashboard. Numbers are going to change. As you guys can see, on let me explain on the right side, Oracle here, you can see a lot of numbers, 2,000. So Oracle was reporting 2,000 IOPS and the latency in the range of 17 milliseconds and 20 milliseconds. Right now, we are doing 48,000 IOPS, 0.66 milliseconds from the host perspective. From the storage perspective, we are doing 55 or 50,000 IOPS at 0.4 milliseconds. Usually the difference between the storage to the host go to go up all the layers in the fiber channel is 200 microseconds. That's the reason that you guys can see here 0.375 and here 0.63 and that's the number of the storage is reporting. 50, I can assume 50,000 IOPS, 0.55 milliseconds response on time. And so if we look at it from the storage point of view, the latency is now 20 times faster. So when we started from the storage point of view in uh, Grafana, we saw 11 millisecond latency, and now we're seeing 0.55. We are in a very good shape. So I would suggest something, Mark. What do you think? We have one database running, and we are doing 50,000 apps. How about you put more load on this storage? What do you think? I think that's a great idea. Let's see if that's uh, going to change the latency, and let's see how busy we can make that. I'll flash fast. Oops, and let's see what happens with the latency and how that works. So, so let's wait for 10 seconds. Let's have a big rise here. Surprise! Right now we have 248,000 IOPS doing close to two gigabytes per second, latency 0.8 milliseconds. And I'm going to show something to you. So here is the real proof that all these numbers that we are reporting here, we are reading from disk. So you can see, this is the first node of FlashFast. That's the second node. We have an active, active operation. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Now, what about some of the NetApp efficiencies of ONTAP? We are running 831. And by default, 831 with all flash fares, we have the all flash fares personality default. And we have inline compression. So all volumes for my database that we have or perf1, perf2, perf3, perf4, we have the inline compression at 43% savings. Excellent. 